Welcome, my brothers and sisters in Christ, to St. Monica as we celebrate today the feast day of the Ascension. Men of Galilee, why gaze in wonder at the heavens? This Jesus, whom you saw ascending into heaven, will return as you saw him go. Alleluia. Let us gather in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, we do try to ascend our thoughts each day to heaven to call us to the path of God, leading us to eternal life. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And today, on this great solemnity of the Ascension, we pray the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who believe that your only begotten Son, our Redeemer, ascended this day to the heavens, may in spirit dwell already in heavenly realms, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up and after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. He presented himself as alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during the 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to the wait for the promise of the Father about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons that the Father has established by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus, who has been taken from you into heaven, will return in the same way as you've seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response for this day, God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. All you peoples, clap your hands, shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is the great king over all the earth. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. 
God mounts his throne amid shouts of joy, the Lord amid trumpet blasts. Sing praise to God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King, sing praise. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. For the King of all the earth is God, sing hymns of praise. God reigns over the nations, God sits upon his holy throne. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. Our second reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation, resulting in the knowledge of him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call, what are the riches of his glory in his inheritance among the holy ones, and what is the surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe, in accord with the exercise of his great might, which he worked in Christ, raising him from the dead and seating him at the right, his right hand in the heavens. Far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but in, also in the one to come. He put all things beneath his feet and gave him his head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Go and teach all nations, says the Lord. I am with you always until the end of the world. Alleluia, alleluia. My friends, the Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The eleven disciples went to Galilee to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they saw him, they worshipped but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. Lord Jesus Christ. Well, my friends in Christ, we are so close to Pentecost as we celebrate Ascension this day. And you know, I'm, I was reminded today when I was thinking about uh, this gospel and these readings, uh, there's a TV show called Caught in Providence. It features this judge from Providence, Rhode Island, and it's sort of like traffic court where people can come and contest their, uh, their red light tickets and their parking, you know, parking meter tickets and different parking things. And so, you know, it reminded me of the Ascension, surprisingly enough. Now, this judge is kind of known for being kind of humorous and, and trying to help the people as much as they can if they'll work with him. And, you know, I was thinking, like, Judge Caprio, he sounds a lot like God. And I mean this in the most beautiful way because, you know, when we go to God's court and we're trying to get into heaven, we sometimes have this attitude, well, maybe it's just me, I don't know, but have this attitude of like, let me do just enough to get in the door and then I'll figure out the rest. Rest. Our thoughts sort of, we sort of descend to the lowest, what we call in math, the common denominator. And try, okay, let me just do a little bit better and get my foot in the door, get my foot in purgatory, and then the rest will be okay. Well, this Feast of the Ascension calls us to a different height. It calls us to ascend our own thoughts to heaven. And we should do the opposite of just barely enough to get in. But God calls us to do everything we can to fulfill his mission on earth. Because the more and more we fulfill his mission, the more and more of us ascend to heaven. 
because we show others by our works and our faith and our hope and our worship that we ascend further and further to heaven. So we don't just barely get in, but we get in and it's like St. Paul would say, to run the race and to finish the race beautifully. I like this line from the gospel today too. It says, when they saw him, they worshiped, but they doubted. That sentence is for us too, my friends. We worship, but we doubt. And we worship, but we doubt. But the key is to keep coming back to worship and coming back to the sacraments that feed us and enliven us. For that's what we're missing. And we felt that miss even more over this past couple months. But God is now calling us. And some of us still have doubts. I think in fact, my friends, I might have doubts until the very end. But I'm going to keep trying, I think. Uh, I think. <laughs> but I believe that that's what I should do. And I'm going to continue to try to get on this road and not just barely get into heaven, but get into heaven with enough, enough credit, enough works, enough love that I can give some of that credit to somebody else and get them into the heavenly kingdom as well. Amen. As we do every Sunday and on every great solemnity of the church, we pray our words of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My friends, as we try to ascend our thoughts always to heaven, we ask God to help us with the things that we need that the church on earth will ever keep its evangelical mission of making disciples of all nations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the world may realize they must give an account for their work to Jesus when he returns as our judge. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That no one will be so attached to this earth as to regret being called to eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may all come to the maturity of faith and the fullness of the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all our dead may ascend to the glory with Christ, our priest and king, especially Jenny Kleinard, Rita Porter, and Tommy Ballard. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray, my friends, for all the people of both parishes, both who are joining us today by video and who will join us in person if they're ready. I pray for all of them, Lord. May they be guided, strengthened, and protected. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now, my friends, let us also add our own prayer that brings to our heart closer to Christ. For all these things, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father in heaven, your Son is now seated at your right hand, enthroned in eternal glory. We make our petitions through him, 
who lives and reigns forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water, my man comes to share in the vineyard of Christ, you want us up to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For to the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we accept it by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray now, my sisters and my brothers, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all, his holy church. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realms. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. My friends, the Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land and every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. My friends, today let us pray Eucharistic prayer number one. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church, be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all who are gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you, for them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or the offer for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls and the hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred day on which your only begotten Son, our Lord, placed at the right hand of your glory, our weak human nature, which he had united to himself, and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of God and our Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damian, and all your saints. We ask for their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended, by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and count among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. 
Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you've given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant, Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest, Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, Command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us at the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us, also your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us 
And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other, my friends, the sign of peace. May God bless you this day on the beautiful day of ascension. May God's peace always be with you and never forget, I love you guys very much. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant we pray that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, my friends, on this great Ascension Day, you get a four amen blessing. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you, for on this very day His only begotten Son pierced the heights of heaven and unlocked for you the way to ascend where He is. Amen. May He grant that as Christ after His resurrection was seen plainly by the disciples, so when He comes as judge, He may show Himself merciful to you for all eternity. Amen. And may you who believe He is seated at the Father with the Father in His majesty, know with joy the fulfillment of His promise to stay with you until the end of time. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. For our Mass is ended now, my friends. Let us go in the peace and joy of Christ. Thanks be to God.